have, I have done a good job, I think, of refraining from making comment about... Oh, just a little. Uh, Come on. What I will say is that I have a lot of respect for Whippy Goldberg and certainly for Nancy Pelosi and for uh, the elders in our party as well. I think that, that we can all learn from our elders, and that's something that's an old adage, but it's, 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 it's as meaningful today as it has, it has always been. Uh, has the squad hurt your party? Uh, I think that the Democratic Party is a wide base, as you've heard before. It's a Big Ten party. Uh, it includes as, as this Big Ten freak Bernie show. Bernie Sanders, uh, all the way to Mike Bloomberg right now. So I do think... <laughs> yeah, that went over good party. last night. The Bloomberg crazy? Led Zeppelin. I but because as they heard it because they look like they want to get along. They've been very critical. In fact, AOC came out and said, in no other country would Joe Biden... And us being the same party. Well, I think in other countries that maybe. Well, last night's debate topped it all. I especially loved, after all the confrontation of Bloomberg about his sexual degeneracy. Could you imagine? I got to tell you, I don't know what's. What is it harder to be Jewish or a Catholic today? Every time you turn around, another high profile Jewish guy is in trouble up to his ears for waving his tallywhacker. Epstein, Freakstein. Weinstein, Bloomberg, it doesn't end. They're, they're competing very, very fast with the Catholic priests. And I'm listening to this freak. Look at, look at how Tandy is, John Boehner, worth $50 million because he was such a clean politician. And with Mr. Potato Head here, the union head, they're trying to save pensions. Watch this. Employer pension plans. I don't like the Teamsters or the Iron Workers, uh, Bakers, uh, Bakers. All, all kinds of industries have these multi-employer pension plans. Involve about 10 million Americans, uh, and they're all about to go bankrupt. He won't talk about the public unions. No, he won't talk about that. He'll talk about Bakers and Shoemakers. Isn't that hysterical? And Mr. Potato Head on the right is going to talk about. Local 707 over there, they're down to getting half of what they were supposed to. Really? And what did Boehner do about this when he was in office? He took the money and he looked the other way. That's what he did. Could you imagine last night Joe Biden brings up the energy industry and points his finger about how we have to clean up the energy companies, and nobody brought up Burisma, and nobody said you're going to close down American shale and oil companies. You're going to do that to Burisma, Joe? Not one Democrat brought up his son's dirty deals with China and Ukraine. But they worried about Bloomberg making off color jokes to the Me Too Nazi feminazis. By the way, in about 15 minutes, Bloomberg's lawyers should start getting bombarded with all those women's lawyers' phone calls. Whoever he cut, a keep your mouth shut deal. How much of the price is going up on those deals? Because I'll tell you, I'm thinking of going out and buying a wig and a muumuu dress and calling up the Bloomberg uh, company and telling them he sexually harassed me. Because this guy, this fool Bloomberg, is throwing around millions of dollars because he's such an integral man. Like Boehner here, Boehner boy. The slobberer, the crier, the smoking crier. Talking about growing up in my father's bar and I used to sleep, I used to sweep the floor and blah, blah. Now he's worth $54 million. That was when he left office a couple years ago. Because he's such a brilliant man. He's such a brilliant man. So indispensable, like Mr. Potato Head here. Johnny Union Slug. Okay, I'll let you listen to the rest of this. This is priceless. Uh, especially uh, you know, the Central States Pension Fund, with about 400,000 retirees and active workers, uh, is on the brink of teetering. What can be done? Uh, there's, there needs to be a... It's on the brink of teetering. Now, think about those words. It's on the brink of teetering. Yes, it's coming to an end. It's on the brink of teetering any moment now. Bipartisan, 
bicameral solution coming out of the Congress. We have to have a bicameral, bipartisan, bisexual solution to all the thievery. Uh, the, the, each, each, the House and Senate each taken some steps uh, toward recognizing how serious this problem is. Why did it happen, Joe? Well, I think, first of all, let me say, I'm, I'm proud to be working with uh, Speaker Boehner on this issue. I think... Uh, yeah, look over here. I'll tell you how it happened. Maybe the guys that run the unions are all living like Boehner. No, we won't talk about that. really address this issue, but it happened for a number of reasons. Yes. Uh, one, the pensions guarantee... Um, PBGC. PBGC is running out of resources and money. How'd that happen? Where'd the money go? It's a combination of, of, of bad plans. Of bad plans? You know, companies that did not fulfill their investment. In right. The, uh, couldn't. Because they couldn't. Because they were taxed into extinction, you moron. But go look at the yachts and the mansions that all the union bosses live in. Go see. You think uh, Potato Head here is going to tell you about that? Look at the suit he's wearing, Mr. Chubby Potato Head. What do you think, this guy's living a hard scrabble life? Lots longer than anybody so you want ever expected. government to bail, every, bail these people out? No, no, this is, is going to be a shared responsibility. That means all you people that don't have pensions, pony up. You lost your houses because of the police and teachers unions in New York? Too fucking bad. Pay up. Now you're going to pay for truck drivers. And plumbers and electricians, you're going to pay. You who never had a union. And the disparity of the government elite never stops. Okay? I got buddies that retired from the state police that bring in more money every month than they used to make in a year. You know any other industry does that? Teachers unions on Long Island had to pass a law two years ago that a teacher can't retire on more than 28000 a month. 28000 a month, because she works so hard for seven months a year. And these people are have the audacity. This crook Boehner, you know what? He's into the pockets now of these very unions he's trying to save. That's what, he, that's what he's doing. He's a law firm, and they're paying him to try to rescue their debacle. But they won't tell you about the malfeasance. They won't tell you where all the money went. In the hands of all these criminals that run these unions. No. And all the money that went in the pockets of guys like Boehner in the Congress and Senate to look the other way. They'll always pass it on to the Walmart worker. Uh, the employers, the employees, the retirees, and the federal government uh, to solve this problem. Because if it doesn't get solved, it's going to affect our economy in a very serious way. Very serious way. Here he goes. We're seeing about half that pension that they expected from the Teamsters. Uh, so their lives have been disrupted and turned upside down because of this. And we see that replicated in Ohio. We see it replicated all over the country. And that's a lie. Their pension wasn't cut in half. It was cut down to one third. So this guy's lying out his ass to begin with because they don't want you to know where that money went. So you see, again, complete screw up. They're taking full responsibility. You know what that means? They're going to make little people. Pay for it. That's what this is. A pension grab upon pension grab. It's unbelievable. And the problem, the problem will only get exacerbated unless Congress and the government steps in to bring all sides into this issue and really uh, find a solution to this problem. Well, you would think that that would be an issue that the two sides get together. Yeah, listen to this more and listen to them. Get together any opportunity before... November. I think there is an opportunity. Yeah, I think there's an opportunity to take the money from the little people and pay for our pensions so I can go back to the golf course. To help bring more awareness to this problem. You imagine these people. Can, they, they're, 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 they are unbelievable. Their audacity. And then the Fox cheerleaders here. The Fox cheerleaders that can't ask a hard question if their life depends on it. Because these clowns come in the way of news. Little Miss Muffy in her yellow dress. And one lightweight buffoon after another. They can't ask a cogent intellectual question. They're just sitting there like malaprops. You know, this is scary. Because we have no media. The left has left the planet. And this is what Fox News gives us. Panty waists and lightweights. So you feel perky in the morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, what a great day. Good morning. I'm telling you, this country's finished. There's, I'm convinced there's no hope.